Ma'asim, Acts 29. And Pa'al, full of the blessings of Hamashiach, and abounding in the Ruach HaKodesh, departed out of Rome, determining to go into Spain. For he had a long time purposed to journey thitherward, and was minded also to go from thence into Britain. For he had heard in Phoenicia that certain of the children of Yashad El, about the time of the captivity, into the land of Ashur, had escaped by sea to the isles afar off, as spoken by the prophets and called by the Romaim and Britain. And Yahua commanded the Bessara to be preached far hence to the other nations and to the lost sheep of the house of Yashadael. And no man hindered Paul, for he testified boldly of Yahusha before the tribunes and among the people, and he took with him certain of the brethren which abode with him at Rome, and they took ship being at Ostium, and having rather and have the winds fair, were brought safely into a haven of Spain. And much people were gathered from the towns and villages and the hill country, for they had heard of the conversion of the apostle and the many miracles which he had wrought. And Paul preached mightily in Spain, and great multitudes believed and were converted, for they perceived he was an apostle sent from Yahua. And they departed out of Spain, and Paul and his company finding a ship in Armorquia, rather, Armorica, sailed unto Britain. They went therein, and passing along the south coast, they reached a port called Arafanus. Now, when it was noised abroad that the apostle had landed on their coast, great multitudes of the inhabitants met him, and they treated Paul courteously, and he entered in at the east gate of their city, and lodged in the house of an Ivri, and one of his own nation. And on the morrow he came and stood upon Mount Lud, and the people thronged at the gate, and assembled in the broad way, and he preached Hamashiach unto them, and many believed the word and the testimony of Yahusha. And at evening the Ruach HaKodesh fell upon Paul, and he prophesied, saying, Behold, in the last days, Yahuwah Shalom shall dwell in the cities, and the inhabitants thereof shall be numbered, and in the seventh numbering of the people their eyes shall be opened, and the glory of their inheritance shine forth before them. And nations shall come up to worship on the mount that testifies the patience and long-suffering of a servant of Yahuwah. And in the latter days, new tidings of the Basara shall issue forth out of Yerushalayim, and the hearts of the people shall rejoice, and behold, fountains shall be opened, and there shall be no more plague. In those days there shall be wars and rumors of wars, and a king shall rise up, and his sword shall be for the healing of the nations, and his peacemaking shall abide, and the glory of his kingdom a wonder among princes. And it came to pass that certain of the Druids came unto Paul privately, and showed by their rites and ceremonies they were descended from the Yahudim, which, which escaped from bondage in the land of Mitzrayim. And the apostles believed these things, and he gave them the kiss of peace. And Paul abode in his lodging three months, confirming in the belief and preaching Hamashiach continually. And after these things Paul and his brethren departed from Raphanus, and sailed unto Atium in Gaul. And Paul preached in the Romei garrisons and among the people, exhorting all men to repent and confess their sins. And there came to him certain of the Belagi, rather Belge, to inquire of him of the new doctrine, and of the man Yahusha. And Paul opened his heart unto them and told them all things that had befallen him, howbeit that Hamashiach Yahusha came into the world to save sinners, 
and they departed, pondering among themselves upon the things which they had heard. And after such rather much preaching and toil, Paul and his fellow laborers passed into Helvicha and came unto Mount Pontius Pilate, where he would condemn Adonai Yahusha, dashed himself down headlong. Rather, where he who condemned Adonai Yahusha dashed himself down headlong and so miserably perished. And immediately a torrent gushed out, rather gushed out of the mountain and washed his broken body in pieces into a lake. And Paul stretched forth his hands upon the water and prayed unto Yahuwah, saying, O Yahuwah Elohim, give a sign unto all nations that here Pontius Pilate, which condemned your eth Yahid, plunged headlong into the pit. And while Paul was yet speaking, behold, there came a great earthquake, and the face of the waters was changed, and the form of the lake like unto the son of Adam, hanging in the agony upon the, the pole. And a voice came out of heaven, saying, Even Pilate has escaped the wrath to come. For he washed his hands before the multitude at the bloodshedding of Adonai Yahusha. When therefore Paul and those that were with him saw the earthquake and heard the voice of the angel, they glorified Yah and were mightily strengthened in the Ruach. And they journeyed and came to Mount Julius, where stood two pillars, one on the right hand and one on the left hand, erected by Kekar Augustus. And Paul, filled with the Ruach HaKadosh, stood up between the two pillars, saying, Men and brethren, these stones which ye see this day shall testify of my journey hence. And indeed, I say, they shall remain until the outpouring of the Ruach upon all nations. Neither shall the way be hindered throughout all generations. And they went forth and came unto Eli, e, rather, Elikring, rather, Elikrim, intending to go by Macedonia into Asia. And grace was found in all the called out assemblies, and they prospered and had peace. Amen.